Academic Rating Lecture 15 The theme SC Rating Research Paper Lecturer Schnar Normanov Learning objectives are to identify cause and effect essay, to distinguish comparison contrast essay, to distinguish argumentative essay, to study research paper. The plan. The first question. Cause and effect essay. Second. Comparison contrast essay. Three. An argumentative essay. Four. Problem and solution essay. And the fifth. Research paper. So, the purpose of an essay is to determine its structure and format. The ways you approach an informative essay, for instance, is going to be different from how you choose to write an argumentative essay. Sometimes, called reason and result essays, cause and effect essays examine in even an event or situation. They explore how this event or situation came into being and what is happening because of this event or situation. A basic cause and effect essay structure would look like this. Introduction, body paragraph, causes, body paragraph, effects, and conclusion. Alternatively, you may choose to discuss the effects before you talk about the causes. It depends on the argument you are trying to make way you'd like to place greater emphasis. If you want to focus more on the causes, the section can be larger and than the section of on effects, for example. Either approach is acceptable as long as your essay flows naturally. So, cause and effect essay include questions which ask you to state or investigate the effects or outline the causes of the topic. This may be, for example, a historical event, an implementation of a policy, medical condition, or a natural disaster. These essays may be structured in one or two ways. Either the causes or situation may be discussed, first followed by the effects, or the effects could, be, could, could come first with the discussion working back to the outline. Sometimes, with cause and effect essays, you are required to give an assessment of the overall effects, such as uh, community, workplace, and individual. Space must be allocated for this assessment in your structure if needed. So, what is cause and effect essay? Exam Here you are examining a situation or event. Explore how this event or situation came into being and what is happening. And the purpose of these types of essay is to explore the why or how of a situation. Then include questions which you ask to state or investigate the effects or outline the causes of the topic. May be structured in one or two ways. Either the causes of a situation may be discussed, first followed by the effects, could come with the discussion working back to outline the cause. So, what is an argumentative essay? The argumentative essay is a genre of writing that requires the students to investigate a topic, collect, generate, and evaluate evidence, and establish a position on the topic in a concise manner. Argumentative essay arguments generally call for extensive research of literature or previously published material. Argumentative assignments may also require empirical research where the student collects data through interviews, surveys, observations, or experiments. Detailed research allows the student to learn how the topic and to understand different points of view regarding the topic so that he or she may choose a position and support it to the evidence collected during the research. Regardless of the amount type of research involved, Argumentative essays must establish a clear thesis and follow sound reasoning. So the structure of the argumentative essay is held together by the following. A clear, concise and defined thesis statement that occurs in the first paragraph of the essay. Logical transition between the introduction, body and conclusion. Body paragraphs that include evidential support. 
evidential support, whether factual, logical, statistical, or anecdotal, for example, a conclusion that does not simply restate the facts, thesis, but readdresses it in light of the evidence provided. So, a complete argument. Perhaps it is helpful to think of an essay in terms of a conversation or debate with a classmate. So, five paragraph essay. A common method for writing an argumentative essay is the five paragraph approach. This is, however, by no means the only formula for writing such essays. It is, if it sounds straightforward, that is because it is, in fact, the method consists of an introductory paragraph, three evidential body paragraphs that maybe include discussion of opposing views and conclusion. Longer argumentative essays. Complex issues and detailed research call for complex and detailed essays. Argumentative essays discussing a number of research sources and empirical research will most certainly be longer than five paragraphs. Authors may have to discuss the context surrounding the topic, sources of information, and their credibility, as well as number of different opinions on the issue before concluding the essay. Many of these factors will be determined by the assignment. So, argumentative essay is a genre that requires the student to investigate a topic to collect, generate, and evaluate evidence, and establish a position on the topic of a concise. They are commonly assigned as a capstone or final project in the first year writing or advanced composition courses and involves lengthy, detailed research. The purpose of compare contrast in writing. Comparison in writing discusses elements that are similar, while contrast in writing discusses elements that are different. A compare and contrast essay then analyzes two subjects by comparing them, contrasting them, or both. The key to a good compare and contrast essay is to choose two or more subjects that connect in a meaningful life way. The purpose of conducting the comparison or contrast is not to state the obvious or rather to eliminate subtle difference or unexpected similarities. For example, if you wanted to focus on contrasting two subjects, you would not pick apples or oranges, rather that you may choose to compare and contrast two types of oranges or two types of apples to highlight some subtle differences. Similarly, to focus on comparison, choose two subjects that seem at first to be unrelated. For a comparison essay, you, you would like would not choose two apples or two oranges because they share so many of the same properties already. Rather, you might try to compare how apples and oranges are quite similar. The more divergent the two subjects initially seem, the more interesting a comparison essay will be. The structure of a compare-contrast essay. So, they start with a thesis that clearly states the two subjects that are to be compared, contrasted, or both, and the reason for doing so. The thesis could learn more towards comparing, contrasting, or both. Remember, the point of comparing and contrasting is to provide useful knowledge to the reader. Take the following thesis and as, as an example that learns uh, more toward contrasting. Thesis statement. Organic vegetables may cost more than those that are conveniently grown, but when put to the test, they are definitely worth every extra penny. Here the thesis states sets up two subjects to be compared and contrasted, organic versus conventional vegetables, and it makes a claim without uh, about the results that might prove useful to the reader. You may organize compare and contrast essays in one of the following two ways, according to the subject, themselves discussing one and then the other, and the second, according to individual points, discussing each subject in relation to each point. So, comparison in writing discusses elements that are similar. Contrast in writing discusses elements that are different. 
a compare and contrast essay, then analyzes two subject, subjects by comparing them, contrasting them, or both. Phrases for comparison and contrast, such as one simile, another simile, both like, likewise, simile, in a similar fashion, one difference, another difference, Converse, uh, conversely, in contrast, unlike, while, various. So, argumentative essays, as we remember, include questions which ask you to take a position on a topic such as a particular decision or policy and present arguments which support your position. An effective way to argue a point can be to present the opposing view first and then counter this view with stronger evidence. Then, problem and solution essays. Problem and solution essays require you answer in several parts. An example may be to ask a problem, to investigate a problem and explore a range of solutions. You may be also asked to choose the best solution and justify your selection, so allow space for this in your essay if needed. Depending on the topic, Body paragraphs in a problem and solution essay could be devoted to discussing the problem in more detail, in more detail as the solution. It's up to the writer to assess the needs of the project in order to decide how much time is spent on it. A research paper. So, uh, what is a research paper? It is a piece of academic writing that provides analysis, interpretation, and argument based on in-depth independent, independent research. They are similar to academic essays, but they are usually longer and more detailed assignments designed to access not only your writing skills, but also your skills in scholarly research. They require you to demonstrate a wrong knowledge, strong knowledge of your topic, engage with a variety of sources, and make an original topic engage with a variety of sources and make an original contribution to the debate. The essence of original research paper consists of the important parts. Abstract. It is a normal written in 100 words at the maximum, which explains what the paper is about. Introduction. It gives the background of research and gives three descriptions of the topic of the research. Literature review. A short review is done normally within a paragraph or two, which can either be included in the introduction or given a separate title. Objective. It is normally a product or process that is being proposed by the researcher. Proposed methodology. So it describes what the method you are going to ex execute or what the new product that is to be obtained by which method, results and observations. So by executing the proposed methodology, the observations made are listed in this section. Then interpretation of results. The interpretation of the observed results is made in the section of the interpretation is going to be small in uh, is combined with the conclusion, else if the interpretation is going to be large, it can be separated from the conclusion. And conclusion, it describes what you learned from the particular experiment conducted after interpreting the results and giving the con concluding remarks of, for the research. References. References are the important section of the research paper, as you would have considered one of the already published papers to identify, identify the shortcomings of the research that you would have clubbed and process of one outcome with another process and identify the net outcome. So it is important to quote the research article in your paper wherever necessary. What is not a research paper? So a research paper is not just a stock of quotations. Quotations take place only to document or classify findings. A research paper is not a rewriting or rephrasing of someone's thoughts and ideas. It is not any description or summary of facts from any internet resource or textbooks. 
it is not a defense of opinions. The aim of research in any paper is to re reveal the truth. Avoid conflicting with the opposite opinion unless you need to write a persuasive research paper. It is not a simple presentation of the points of view. Research paper demands facts, information and data which supports certain opinion or idea. A research paper is not emotional persuasion. Vocabularies and sentences that are used in research papers should be neutral. It should be free of emotional language and superlatives. So, uh, making a summary, we may say that argumentative essay is a genre of writing that requires the student to investigate a topic. Cause and effect essays examine an event or situation. The purpose of conducting the comparison or contrast is not to state the obvious, but rather to eliminate subtle differences or unexpected similarities. Problem and solution essays investigate a problem and explore a range of solution. Research paper, the researching critical thinking evaluation and source of composition, composition and organizing. So while getting for the lecture, be ready to answer the following questions. And use this literature.